You've heard of football legends, but few have left a mark like Jack Lambert, the enforcer of the Steel Curtain. With his toothless grin and unyielding intensity, he was more than just a linebacker. He embodied fear itself on the field. Known for his bone-crushing tackles and relentless pursuit, Lambert didn't just play the game, he changed how it was played. But what made him so much more than the hits you see in the highlight reels? What fueled his drive to dominate every play, every quarter? In this video, we're digging deep into the untold story behind his ferocious style, revealing how this small town kid from Ohio became a symbol of fear and intimidation in the NFL from his unorthodox rise to a pivotal role in one of football's greatest dynasties to the moments that defined his legacy. There's a side to Jack Lambert you've never seen before. Stick around because the legend of Dracula and Cleats is just getting started. Early life and college days. Jack Lambert was born in the small town of Mantua, Ohio, a place where the values of grit and hard work ran deep. Growing up in this rural community, Lambert learned toughness early on. He wasn't the biggest kid, but he had a natural intensity that stood out. In high school, he started out as a quarterback, but it quickly became clear that his true strength was on the other side of the ball. Playing defense allowed him to channel his aggression, setting the stage for the player he would become. After high school, Lambert moved on to Kent State University, where he initially played as a defensive end, but a pivotal shift occurred during his time there. His coaches recognized his potential in the middle of the field, a position that would better suit his speed and instincts. Transitioning to middle linebacker, he became a key part of Kent State's defense, even leading them to their first Mid-American Conference Championship in 1972. This shift was critical. It allowed him to develop the hard-hitting, relentless style that would become his trademark. Lambert's college career wasn't just about stats, it was about proving that he could outwork and outsmart anyone on the field. This determination caught the attention of NFL scouts despite his lighter frame. He showed that a player's heart and mental toughness could matter more than pure size. This mindset built in the fields of Ohio and refined at Kent State laid the foundation for the intense, uncompromising linebacker he would become in the NFL. Draft day, a career-defining moment. Jack Lambert's journey to the NFL was anything but typical. Coming out of Kent State University, he was an underdog in every sense. Weighing just around 220 pounds, Lambert was considered too light for a linebacker by many scouts, especially in an era when size and strength were the top priorities for NFL defenders. Despite his impressive performances at Kent State, where he had been a standout on defense, there were doubts about whether his build could handle the punishing hits and physical demands of professional football. But the Pittsburgh Steelers saw something different. They recognized Lambert's unyielding intensity, his deep understanding of the game, and a toughness that went beyond physical measurements. They believed he had the instincts and the heart to succeed in the league. So, when the 1974 NFL Draft came around, the Steelers took a calculated risk. They selected Lambert in the second round, using their pick on a player that many teams had overlooked. It was a decision that would change the course of their franchise. At that time, the Steelers already had Henry Davis, an established middle linebacker, but fate had other plans. Davis suffered a career-ending neck injury just as Lambert joined the team creating an unexpected vacancy in the heart of the defense. Lambert, who had been waiting for his chance, was thrust into the starting lineup sooner than anyone anticipated. He didn't just step up, he transformed the position. Lambert's impact was immediate. From his first game, it was clear that he wasn't intimidated by the bigger, stronger players he faced. Instead, he brought a relentless ferocity to every snap delivering hits that made opposing players think twice before challenging him. Lambert's style wasn't just about aggression, though his sharp football instincts allowed him to anticipate plays. Reading offenses like a seasoned veteran, he quickly earned the respect of his teammates, becoming a key voice in the defensive huddle and a leader on the field. This wasn't just a simple role change. 
It was the start of a new era for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Lambert's intensity helped shape the identity of the Steelers' defense, turning them into the feared Steel Curtain. He became the enforcer, the player who set the tone and ensured that every opponent knew they were in for a battle when facing Pittsburgh. His presence in the middle of the defense helped the Steelers become a defensive powerhouse, dominating the NFL throughout the late 1970s. Lambert's rise also coincided with a period of transformation for the Steelers as a whole. The team won its first Super Bowl just months after Lambert joined the starting lineup and his contribution was undeniable. His ability to control the field, both physically and mentally, made him the perfect fit for the Steelers' system. The Steel Curtain defense became synonymous with toughness, and Lambert was its beating heart. He brought a raw energy that inspired his teammates and struck fear into opponents. In many ways, Lambert's career was shaped by a combination of talent, opportunity, and a twist of fate. If not for that fateful injury to Henry Davis, who knows how long it would have taken Lambert to become the centerpiece of Pittsburgh's defense. Yet, when the chance came, Lambert was more than ready. That draft day gamble by the Steelers didn't just secure them a great player. It laid the foundation for a dynasty that would win four Super Bowls in six years. The story of Jack Lambert's draft and his rapid rise to stardom serves as a reminder that sometimes all it takes is one break, one moment to change everything. For the Steelers, it meant finding the leader they needed to anchor their defense. For Lambert, it was the start of a legendary career that would eventually earn him a place in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And for football fans, it marked the beginning of a new era, one where the name Jack Lambert would forever be associated with the very essence of hard-nosed, uncompromising football. Rise to Fame, The Steel Curtain Jack Lambert's rise to prominence went hand in hand with the emergence of the Pittsburgh Steelers as one of the most dominant forces in NFL history. As soon as he secured the middle linebacker role, Lambert became the driving force behind the Steel Curtain defense, a unit that struck fear into the hearts of offenses across the league. He quickly established himself as the heart and soul of this legendary defense, bringing a unique blend of physicality and football smarts that made him an invaluable asset to the Steelers' success. But Lambert's role on the field went beyond delivering crushing hits. He took on the responsibilities of the defensive play caller, a role that demanded quick thinking, precise communication, and the ability to adjust on the fly. This wasn't a job for just any player. It required someone with a deep understanding of the game. Lambert's strategic mind allowed him to not only execute plays, but also anticipate the offense's moves, positioning his teammates in the right spots to shut down drives before they even started. Under the direction of defensive coordinator Bud Carson, the Steelers adopted a system that perfectly suited Lambert's abilities. Carson's defensive approach, a variation of the Tampa 2, emphasized speed and intelligence over sheer size. Unlike traditional defensive setups that relied on brute force, this scheme allowed Lambert to use his agility to patrol the entire middle of the field. Despite being lighter than most of his peers, Lambert's range and athleticism enabled him to cover wide areas, making it difficult for offenses to exploit gaps. He could seamlessly drop back into pass coverage, track down fast receivers, and even intercept passes, all while maintaining the physical edge that defined his style. Lambert's ability to adapt to this role redefined what it meant to be a middle linebacker. No longer was the position just about stopping the run. It required versatility, and Lambert embodied that perfectly. His awareness of the field made him like a quarterback for the defense, orchestrating complex schemes and adjusting to offensive plays in real time. This foresight allowed him to react to plays before they developed, turning potential big gains into missed opportunities for opponents. His presence wasn't just felt through his tackles or interceptions. Lambert brought a relentless edge to the entire defense. He set high standards for himself and demanded the same from his teammates, 
pushing everyone to perform at their best. Lambert's fiery attitude on the field and in the locker room became a source of inspiration. He played with a chip on his shoulder, refusing to let anyone outwork him or intimidate the Steelers. This drive became infectious, spreading through the defense and helping the Steelers become a dynasty that would win four Super Bowls in the 1970s. The Steel Curtain defense, with Lambert at its core, became synonymous with toughness, discipline, and a refusal to back down. They weren't just winning games, they were changing the way defense was played in the NFL. Lambert's contributions were pivotal as he helped the Steelers create a blueprint for how a defense could dominate using a mix of physical power and smart adaptable strategies. Lambert's rise wasn't just about personal accolades, it was about building a legacy. He helped turn the Steelers into a symbol of resilience and grit, leaving an imprint on the NFL that would last long after his playing days were over. His transformation into the enforcer of the Steel Curtain defense didn't just change the trajectory of his career, it changed the course of the entire Pittsburgh Steelers franchise, solidifying their place as one of the greatest teams in NFL history. The legend of Dracula in cleats. Jack Lambert didn't just play football, he embodied the very essence of intimidation. With his lean frame, intense eyes, and a toothless snarl, he earned the nickname Dracula in cleats. It wasn't just his look that struck fear into opponents, it was his entire presence on the field. From the moment he lined up, quarterbacks and running backs alike knew they were in for a rough day. Lambert had a way of getting inside their heads before the snap, using his infamous stare downs as a weapon as potent as any tackle. One of the stories that encapsulates Lambert's intimidating nature comes from John Elway, who recalled being unnerved by Lambert's appearance and demeanor. Elway famously said that Lambert's look made him want to become an accountant instead of facing him on the field. For Lambert, that fear was a badge of honor and he wore it proudly every game. But his intimidation wasn't just about looks. When the NFL began implementing new rules to protect quarterbacks in the late 1970s and early 80s, Lambert had a pointed response. They might as well put them in a dress. This now iconic taunt captured his old school mentality and disdain for the softer direction he felt the league was taking. Lambert believed football was meant to be tough, a game of physical and mental warfare, and he wasn't shy about letting everyone know where he stood. His reputation as an enforcer went beyond trash talk. He backed it up on the field with hits that left opponents second-guessing their decisions. Lambert's aggressive style wasn't just about making tackles. It was about sending a message. If a player dared to cross the middle of the field, they knew they'd pay the price. These stories and his larger-than-life persona solidified Lambert's place as one of the most feared players of his era. But beyond the snarls and tough talk, he remained focused on one thing, winning. His intensity wasn't just to show, it was a key part of the Steelers' defensive dominance and a driving force behind their championships. The legend of Dracula in cleats lives on because it wasn't just about fear, it was about the respect he commanded from everyone who had the misfortune of lining up against him. Defining moments, key games and plays. Jack Lambert didn't just play football, he made statements with his actions. One of the most defining moments of his career came in Super Bowl X against the Dallas Cowboys. The Steelers had just missed a field goal and Cowboys safety Cliff Harris decided to taunt the Steelers kicker, Roy Gorilla, by patting him on the helmet. Lambert was having none of it. He rushed over, grabbed Harris and threw him to the ground. It was a raw display of his protective nature and set the tone for the rest of the game. The message was clear, no one would disrespect the Pittsburgh Steelers on Lambert's watch. This altercation became a turning point in that Super Bowl. The Steelers rallied after Lambert's outburst, inspired by the intensity he brought to every play. 
They outscored the Cowboys in the second half, securing a 21-17 victory and another step toward their dynasty status. Lambert's actions on that day weren't just about physical dominance, they were about embodying the spirit and toughness of the team. Beyond that iconic Super Bowl moment, Lambert's career was filled with pivotal plays that showcased his leadership. His ability to read offenses and anticipate plays made him a game changer. In the 1976 season, after a rough start, Lambert's fiery speech in the locker room motivated the defense to hold opponents to an average of fewer than 10 points per game for the rest of the season. This helped the Steelers win nine straight games and make the playoffs despite injuries to key players. These moments, both on and off the field, solidified Lambert's role as the emotional leader of the Steelers. His passion and willingness to stand up for his teammates made him a cornerstone of the team's identity. Every time he took the field, Lambert's intensity was a reminder that winning wasn't just about skill, it was about heart, grit, and a refusal to back down. These qualities made him the enforcer of the Steel Curtain and one of the most iconic figures in NFL history. Behind the fierce mask, Lambert's life off the field. Jack Lambert's on-field persona was fierce, intense, and downright intimidating. But off the field, he was a different man entirely. After retiring from football in 1984, Lambert stepped away from the spotlight trading the noise of NFL stadiums for the quiet life in the Pennsylvania hills. His love for nature and privacy took priority, and he rarely sought attention from the media or made public appearances. Despite being one of the most recognizable figures in football history, Lambert preferred a life without the fanfare that followed many of his peers into retirement. He didn't join the ranks of commentators or analysts, nor did he leverage his fame for a career in television. Instead, he embraced a peaceful retreat, far removed from the adrenaline of the gridiron. For Lambert, life after football wasn't about reliving the past, it was about moving forward, away from the spotlight. His desire for privacy was as intense as his approach to the game. While he was known for delivering brutal hits on Sundays, in his personal life, he was known as a quiet, reflective man who enjoyed spending time with his family and the outdoors. It's this contrast that made him such a compelling, one who could strike fear into opponents with just a look, yet find contentment in the solitude of the Pennsylvania countryside. Lambert's decision to step back from the public eye gave him a mystique that many other retired athletes lack. It allowed fans to hold on to the image of him as the hard-nosed enforcer of the steel curtain rather than a retired star chasing the next spotlight. This self-imposed distance only added to his legend, reminding everyone that, in the end, Jack Lambert lived life on his own terms both on and off the field. Impact on the game. How Lambert changed the linebacker role. Jack Lambert wasn't just another great linebacker. He reshaped the position and influenced how future generations approached the role. Before Lambert, linebackers were typically larger and focused on overpowering opponents. But Lambert, lighter and faster than many of his contemporaries, brought a new kind of versatility to the position. His ability to cover receivers, drop back into pass coverage, and still deliver punishing hits made him a unique threat. He blended speed with an aggressive edge, setting a new standard for what a middle linebacker could do on the field. Lambert's presence in the Pittsburgh Steelers 4-3 defense was pivotal, as he thrived in Bud Carson's defensive schemes. His knack for reading plays and reacting instantly allowed him to command the field like a quarterback of the defense. This style influenced the evolution of the modern linebacker, where speed and intelligence became just as valuable as physical strength. Today's linebackers are expected to have the same kind of sideline to sideline range and versatility that Lambert made standard. Over his 11 season career, Lambert racked up impressive stats, 28 interceptions, 17 fumble recoveries, and over 1,400 tackles. 
He earned nine Pro Bowl selections and was named the NFL Defensive Player of the Year twice. His relentless style of play and leadership helped lead the Steelers to four Super Bowl championships, cementing their dynasty in the 1970s. In 1990, his impact on the game was formally recognized when he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Lambert's legacy isn't just about the accolades, it's about how he transformed the expectations of his position. He inspired a new generation of linebackers to play with a mix of intelligence and physicality. When people think of tough, all-around linebackers, Jack Lambert's name still stands out as a benchmark. His influence on defensive football is undeniable, making him not just a Steelers legend, but a cornerstone in the history of the NFL. The enduring legacy of Jack Lambert. Decades after his retirement, Jack Lambert remains a symbol of grit and toughness, a figure who defined an era of football where hard-nosed play was the norm. He's more than just his stats or the highlights of his punishing tackles. For fans, Lambert represents a time when football was played with a raw edge, where players like him set the standard for what it meant to be tough on the field. Even today, his legacy lives on in Pittsburgh and beyond. You can see it in the tributes at Heinz Field, where fans still wear his number 58 jersey, keeping the memory of the Steel Curtain era alive. Lambert's Hall of Fame induction speech in 1990 captured the essence of his career as a thank you to the game and the people who shared the journey with him. It was a moment that solidified his place, not just as a football legend, but as a lasting icon of determination. Lambert's story continues to inspire both players and fans alike. Younger generations look to his style of play as a blueprint for toughness, while longtime fans remember him as the backbone of the Steelers' dynasty. He taught that success in football and in life comes from heart, effort, and an unwillingness to back down. Jack Lambert's legacy isn't just about what he did on the field, but the unyielding passion he brought to every single moment. That's why his name remains synonymous with the spirit of football's golden age, even long after he left the game. Jack Lambert's story is one of raw passion, toughness, and unbreakable spirit. From his unlikely rise in the NFL to becoming the face of the Steel Curtain defense, he left an indelible mark on the game. His legacy isn't just about the stats or the accolades, it's about the heart and fire he brought to every play, inspiring generations of football fans and players. What's your favorite Jack Lambert moment? Was it a hard-hitting tackle, a game-changing play, or maybe a story that shows his unmatched intensity? Drop a comment below and let us know. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the toughest players to ever step on the field, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more untold stories from the world of sports. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.